today. Men and women passionate about creating a better life for their communities are waking people from sleep. They are building schools to make the children read, clinics to make the family healthy. Governor Babajidi Olushola Sonwolu seeks the ends of fellowship of these great community champion whose modest self-effort showed the energy of a vibrant state. Welcome to another episode of Lagos Community Updates. I am Ade Joke Shodendi Adinyoju. How is your community faring today? Let's see. There is no duty more urgent than giving thanks to whom it is due. This is why communities in Oili Agege Local Council Development Area, through community development associations, are not delaying their expression of heartfelt gratitude to Governor Babajide Sonwolu for aiding to their cause on the rehabilitation of some of their major roads which had brought hardship to them in the past. Agege is a suburb and local government area in the Ikeja division of Lagos State. Since the 17th century, the Agege community had been settlement of Aworis, whose central point was at Isheri Olofin. It was from there that some residents moved to Orile Agege, the original homestead of the Agege community. Orile Agege is one of the 37 local council development areas created by Lagos State Government in 2003. It was carved out of Agege local government for administrative convenience and pursuit of developmental objectives. Leaders of the community where the newly rehabilitated road was done described the importance of the road to them and commuters. I to Aege Street, coming from Tumlayo. It's also linked to uh, Yanapaja. Or uh, when you are going to Agege, you can also from there go to Agege too. This particular uh, road you are looking at is Olabi or Motoye. It links to Agege Road. Uh, this is Agbedoye Street. It links to either you are going to Orile Road, Okoba Road, or Abatio. Abatio. And this particular road is uh, Ota Road. It's very, very important because uh, the general hospital is there, and the Lagos State uh, Fire Service is also there too. So in fact, it's a, a, it's, a, it's a welcome project, and we are very happy. A lot of improvements, like people going to the market, it's very easy for them to they can be able to go to their market without any delay, without any hold up. You can see they can move up and down without any stress. This road is a, is, is a road that people are using. As at now, people are selling... Those people are selling market here. They can't do it before. If you want to buy something here, people will now go to another place. As soon as they are immediately they finish the the market are steam, they are moving, moving, moving. Everybody are, are very happy about it now. Are you part of our economic life? But everything we are okay. Most of law, so we see what Allah got. We are not to law. We look at from Kaja, like see them, like see what Allah. We are not to judge. No one wants. It is one leak the. Uh, Ileko market. So it's one of the popular markets in, in, in Lagos State. Also, it's an adjacent to Ojaoba market as well. So it's very, very important in terms of uh, uh, passage. But Moto, Moto from uh, Oshodi, they always pass through this road, especially when there's traffic at the express down to Ojaoba. We love marketing. That's why we can see we are surrounded by many markets, Ojaoba, uh, Ileko. This Ileko market that you are seeing, people are coming from different areas, in different areas to, uh, to this market. That is why most of our people in this area, they are users of this road. We are relieved that this road, no, it serves a good purpose. And as it's going now, the road has not ended. 
But due to the drill construction now, the road has to be stopped until the construction of the journey is completed before the completion of the road. It's a link road that links to many communities. But now that it's been done now, everything can easily move and to even boost the economic situation of the area. That those who have houses now, you want to enter the child road, the price of the house has to go up. And that's why ourselves paying taxes to the state government. That means our taxpayer, we are taxpayers' money, our money, our tax being paid to the state government is yielding dividends. As we can even see all over the places, there, there, there is monumental development going on all over the community. Like tarring of roads, construction of dirages, all these things that can boost the, both the commercial and economic activities of uh, the area. They are actually going on. So anybody to the one that wants to come here should have peace of mind. There's no problem. Business-wise, they, 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 they will have a large uh, margin of opportunities for people. Some recount the harrowing experience faced on the roads when they were in deplorable states. What they were allowed to go in 1972, we were on a footpath. 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 From Funlayo to Orile, the road is very bad, too much bad. When rail is falling, there are people that are living at the other side, they are too suffer because uh, the road is not okay. So, Gota will be flowing. Before this uh, infrastructural development comes up, we know definitely that the area is totally bad, even dangerous to motorists. Motorcycles, even pedestrians, there are used to be accidents of various sorts because of the potholes, all this and that. Now, the road has been rehabilitated and traffic free. Communities in Orile Agege thank Mr. Governor for his timely response to their demands. Governor is trying his possible best to make sure that the people of Lagos State are benefiting in the uh, dividend of democracy and he has been doing it. And we are praying to God, God should continue to bless him to continue to do it for us. I have to appreciate the efforts of our Lagos State Governor uh, in the right of our father, uh, Ogbeni Jide Sorolu. A very big thanks to him and I pray that, that my God will uh, meet him in the first, in, in, in his points of need. So he has done a lot of jobs and a lot of works. In fact, kudos for him. I like what he's doing. I really thank the governor once in again because the way they did this role is very uh, stronger than the one they did before. Then that was uh, uh, the military administrative then, since then. So you can see how much the road will have been damaged before the governor come to rescue the situation now. In fact, they, they were really, really happy because of the road. But if you, if you open their mind, you will see they always praying for the governor. We have ourselves a project and he has rightly said on the, the last year community day we had at the police college, that was December 22, he said more are coming to the communities. And these are part of what he has said. He's fulfilling his promises. And we look forward to more. Not only our real but the whole 57, uh, 20 local government and 37 LCDs. We look more to having them. And we are grateful to him for his support. And we pray that God will continue to strengthen him because it's not, it's, it's not an easy job to be in the uh, power of our affairs. It's not easy, but we give glory to God that we are given a well, a sound prepared governor. And we pray that God Almighty will be his aid. In all ramifications, I commend the effort of the government. I appreciate them. I thank God the government that we have is listening and responsive. He listens to the cry and he responds positively, which we are now enjoying today. They promise to take ownership of the roads by monitoring activities on them as a way of ensuring the roads are durable and serve their purpose. What we are doing now is that uh, we are coming out. Those people are parking here, especially the Okada people, the trailers and the mechanics. We don't, we don't want them to park in, the, in this road because if they start doing anything, anything on this road, the road will spoil again. And these people that they do it, government use the money to do it. If they spoil this, you, you can't see that. So we are doing our 
possible best to make sure this road is in good condition again. We don't want anybody to park aside of the road. Even the, the, the drainage too, we are doing it by ourselves. Anything, anytime you park anything outside this quarter, just remove it, pack it in the sack bag, the llama will now come and pack it. That's what we are doing now. Sir. By the special grace of God, we have invited all our community leaders around this area, the city's chairman and this area, that they should make sure that no mechanic, automobile mechanic, are allowed to work on the road or welders or anything about it. They can easily drop their equipment that will lead to damage. Then the car wash area will ask them to make their, run their own channel of water into the drainage, whereby excessive water on the road can spoil the bitumen. And that's why one of the reasons why they are constructing another uh, drainage system, once the water can go to the drains and go to the mass channel. This is one of the major reasons why community development associations are established in Lagos State. Is the bit of the CDS particularly uh, areas where development uh, takes place like this, is the duty of the CDA to monitor and to maintain where, have, where, where, where they have that opportunity to do, just to ensure that uh, the, the, the work done stands the test of time. And let's, let's speak, it's the duty of the CDAs. And we do sensitize our people. We educate them at various meetings that we have at the CDA level and also at the CDC level in the council to ensure that there is their duty to see to the proper maintenance. Where they see anything that, that is faulty, anything that can cause damages to the world, done, they have the power to arrest that situation. Where they cannot afford to make, they can report to the higher level and we will take it up. It's a basic responsibility of all of us those that from the community associations and individuals as well. We are very much particular about that. We, 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 our cities and our cities are the real edges of growth. They are the owners of all our interventions in government. We need to ensure that once we set contractors out, you monitor them to ensure that they do and deliver quality service so that the schools and the hospitals and the roads that they are building meet the standard that is required of them. Every community needs basic amenities for habitable condition. While some are expectant of government intervention, others are not relenting in helping themselves to help the government. For helping community, you are helping yourself. If you have ability to do things, do it. As community stakeholders continue to contribute their quarter in the development of Lagos State, Governor Babajide Songwolu is working tirelessly to provide needed infrastructure and amenities while also supporting community initiatives for the benefit of all. Watch Lagos Community Updates on Wednesdays and Saturdays on this channel from 7 to 7.30 p.m. as we bring to your view accounts from various communities across Lagos. Lagos Community Updates, telling the story of your community. different activities within a community from the bustling of the roads to the busy streets the serene atmosphere basic infrastructures businesses the young ones exploring their innocence and developing their innate skills all these scenes depict a typical community setting no doubt Every race, generation, and society has two sets of people, the ideologue who are the pace setters and the followers. 
Ayetoro Abule Titun Community Development Association sits in Ojokoro Local Council Development Area, where a man is selflessly working for the growth and development of his community in line with Governor Babajide Sonwolu's themes agenda. Kazim is a community leader by SNA and is a straightforward somebody has interest of the community in his mind. All is after is the development of this area. A bomb in one bed, ah, Koda. See, I'm not one family. I'm a pay only your giddy, bunchy wine, but we are not Kumora, but on what Jata Balagba. We got on best, she would touch your meeting, got on Laga, Gregory. Tabali, I was eating a tally for one slot to come by, I pay by ya. I went to my first mobile. I ni oluwa se olani yi ti e to ba di aseko ojo ojo ma le won jade ninu ile won ibo asugba ti alaji kazim de won lo si won rin kakakiri won lo ba won ijoba won sare pe won se oro omiyan o o ko ja lo to je pe to ju ba de awon ti on kuro ni won to ma n jade lo yen to mi ma n ba nkan won je won de lo mo alaji e mu ikazi o fun ijoba san won lu lowo ni gbogbo ona lati didi sa won eyan ni community ye pe ah e je ka se bayi ona bayi ni ke je ka to o ijoba yi ti gbogbo wa ni o e ma je ka foju pare o ka didi mo ni o ka jo se ku le da nipa oro heti won fi se re rara ton ba ri pe aisan kan fe isele wa bi nkan kan fe isele bayi o ma bere si ni ke gbajare ka kiri pe boya security o awon bad gang o awon omo to nse e gbe okunko won ti e gba ina wa lo laarin seju melo bayi o ma mo bo se ma de nepa office laarin seju kan gbo e de ma wa okay this encomium showered on alaji muidin adewale kazim and more at what puts him on the spotlight as a community champion for today Alaji Muidin Adewale Kazim was born on the 2nd of February 1952 at Ikereku, Abeokuta North local government area, Ogun State, where he had his primary school education. He attended Baptist Boys High School, Abeokuta. He was involved actively in all facets of agricultural development in Lagos State Ministry of Agriculture for 35 years, where he retired strategically as an assistant director. Kazim utilizes his tremendous experiences from the civil service and leadership trainings at the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense to impact on his community. A holder of a master's degree in agriculture and economics, he is a private consultant and farmer with wide experience in agriculture and rural development. He has earned many accolades in the course of community service. The retired civil servant moved into Ayetoro Abuleti to Community Development Association in 2006 and in 2011 his strength for community service was discovered. I joined the city in 1911. It was the elders in the area that came to me that you are now retired, a retired person. Why not come and join us to improve this community? So that when I have seen you Babas. And I want you to continue, I will join you, help you with whatever assistance you want. But say, no, just come and join us. We want you to be with us. Alaji was discovered by me here in this area. So by the time he came here, I, I discussed him that he's a potential leader. Then I invited him. I said, Alaji, you are going to join our CDA and we are going to make you somebody there as the secretary. Ah, I say, ah, Baba, I cannot do this. So. And I've just come and said, no, 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 no. I say, in you, I've seen the potential. And you must do it. And I assure, I tell you, since then, 
we've been in high heavens. We are enjoying him. So committed, highly committed, that he hardly finds time for himself. He can serve the community from morning till night, till, and he's ready to answer to the call, beckon, and call of every individual in as much as it needs comfort. The essence of life is to make people happy. People around you should be happy. You can't be happy alone. If you are around, you are people around people and you are not happy, then you are not happy. So whatever disturbs people, what bothers me a lot. My children, all of them, by the grace of God, they have graduated, they are no more in schools. I am mean, alone in this house with my wife. So we have nobody, no problem for any, in any way. I have support of everybody. The cry of his community members, he akins and provides a lasting solution to this to him creates memorable moments in the course of his community service. The greatest happiness that I got in this community is sending off water by the grace of God through the state government. When we got here in 2011, part of our, more than 50% of our ability to community were annually in floods. So we constructed art drainage for them to move water from one street to another. But we could not just do it. By grace of God, we got the ministry to come to our aid. And they came here to send away the water through millions of naira. The state government spent money. So they moved the water across three communities. From here, Abile Tutu to Onikwinla, down to move to Yusuf Road, primary drainage. So since then, the people have been staying there. They have been going away from their houses three months. They have since been coming back. The schools that were operating in that area have since resumed. And the people who are happy, they are enjoying their life. This was a great joy, getting that done. Because it has persisted in this community for over 20 years. Before I came in, and God said, yeah, this is time to remove the flood. According to him, Governor Babajide Olushola Sonwolu is a great achiever whose exemplary leadership qualities is second to none. He pledges his support to the actualization of a greater Lagos. His Excellency, Governor Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, when he came to power, he came to this area to commission 31 roads in the Jokoro, right from New Wokoba to end of uh, Ojokoro here. Attacking the 31 good roads. So many times in two weeks, I don't see the express, I the express road. What I'm going to do there? If I want to go to Ogba, Ikeja, or Alausa, I just take my car, pass Juicy Bali and Machan Road, connect so many roads that have been constructed for us, and get to Ogba. So we are grateful to the government, to the state government for that. For you know, even at the, the boundary of Lagos State, state government still remembered us as part of them. So we are very grateful. By the grace of God, we are in full support of Governor Babajide Olushola Sawolu, the excellence, His Excellence Governor of Lagos State. We appreciate him, he's doing well. Whatever you do, wherever you are, never ever walk against the community where you live. Because the community is yours. With that, we wrap up today's episode of Lagos Community Update. Remember, you can join our social media platforms for comments and suggestions. And in case you have programs or projects going on in your community, look all the numbers on your screen. I am Ade Joker, Shodendi Adenyoju. Till I come your way again next time.